if you are trying to learn how to code, but you have a lot of on again, off again kind of seasons, and you are struggling with staying consistent and motivated with your learning, stick around because this video is just for you. guys, it's your girl Nicole Dot Young, and in today's video, we are going to be going over something that I think is the secret to staying consistent with what you are learning in code or any tech skill, regardless of how motivated you feel each day. So if you are wondering what that secret is, it is creating a learning plan for yourself. Now I've talked about creating a plan to stay consistent, even when you're not feeling super motivated in previous videos. However, I have refined the process that I was using when I was first teaching myself how to code. And I'm so excited to be able to share it with you with actionable steps and a complete guide and template that you can use to create one that is tailored to what you are learning. So the reason why I think that this is a huge tool that you can use to help yourself stay consistent and make real progress in what you're learning is the same reason why any learning institution that you might find gives you a curriculum before you start learning. It's really great to have a predictable timeline of what you are going to learn and when so that you can mentally prepare for it. And also just to take some of the guesswork out of figuring out what you're going to learn so that you can use all of the energy that you have actually learning those things. When I was first getting started learning how to code, I think one of the biggest things I struggled with was just figuring out what to learn next. Where do I start? And once I learn that thing, what do I move on to? This gives you a chance to do the research and all of that guesswork in the front end of what you are doing so that each and every day when you are ready to start practicing, you just have to show up. You don't have to figure out what you're going to learn that day. And that is going to significantly impact what you're able to get done on a day-to-day -day basis with what you are learning in code or whatever tech skill you're learning. So we are going to go step-by-step -step creating a plan together today so that you can get an idea of what that looks like. But before we do, I wanted to take some time to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Soundcore with their Liberty 3 Pro earbuds with active noise cancellation. The Liberty 3 Pro earbuds have some of the best active noise cancellation that I've ever experienced. It's revolutionary patented technology delivers high and low frequency sounds directly to your ear without interference. What I love about my Liberty 3 Pro earbuds is that they are completely tailored to my ear. Not only do they automatically adjust to the noise levels around me as I'm working, but I was also able to completely customize the fit to my ear, which was a game changer for me because typically earbuds don't fit my ear properly, but these fit perfectly. I personally love these for when I am outdoors walking my dog and listening to a podcast or audiobook, but also think they're really great for just allowing me to really focus and get into a state of flow while I'm at home working or learning something new. You can get $20 off your purchase of Liberty 3 Pros if you use the link in the description of this video. All right, so let's get started with this template. I am going to fill it out with the goal in mind of learning front end development, but you can literally pick any goal that you have, whether it's specifically learning one technology, let's say React Native, or if you have a larger goal in mind, such as being a full stack software engineer, you can use this for anything. I'm staying very uh, specific in front end development because I think that it gives you a good idea of how to work through this plan. So the first thing you wanna do is start with your goal. You wanna make sure that that goal is specific. You don't wanna do high level, like I wanna be a software engineer or a programmer or a developer. Get specific on what type of development or coding you want to be able to do. So for this, I'm going to make it the journey to learning front end development. Um, so the next thing that you probably would want to do is to figure out how much time you can devote. This is going to be completely dependent on you and your schedule, what other jobs or responsibilities that you have. 
it does not matter. However much time that you think that you can devote, I would say figure that out. I suggest picking a very predictable recurring time in your schedule for learning because I think that it helps you build a habit that will stick. I put a space for an implementation intention, which is just a phrase where you decide where, when, and what you will be learning. Um, so for this, I will practice front end development every day, Monday through Saturday from seven to 9 a.m. at my desk. So just making it as specific and predictable as possible will help you tremendously. Just even cutting out the thought process of where and when you're going to practice. The next thing that we wanna do is to break down our larger goal into smaller goals. So this is a little bit of how that breakdown looks. If you wanna break this down even more, you definitely can. For the sake of brevity, I just did it like this, but break it down into each and every little item that you feel like you need to learn. I think it helps just being able to see how you want to work through it and what you actually you need to work, learn. And then as you go through these, you can actually check these off um, just so you can see your own progress. Next is the reminder. So I put this here um, in my own plan as a way of just reminding myself how to work through this plan and also just remembering the rules that I've set for myself. So next we're going to hop into resources. These are going to be the resources that you rely on. I think it helps to lay out all of the resources that you have collected um, or that you have access to and putting them all in one place so that when you come and sit down for what you're learning in that day, you have the links or whatever you need for that resource right there. So I'm actually going to go and use the list of 50 plus resources that I have created in the guide that is linked down below with this template and just fill in this section really quick. And while I do that, I'm going to throw in my Liberty 3 Pros so I can really focus. Okay, so I have a few of them filled out here. The goal with filling out your resources is just to make sure that you have a few things that are going to help you learn each of the check boxes that you have in your mini goals. So as long as you have a resource or two um, for each one of those, I think you'll be set and be able to kind of work through it. And honestly, if anything comes up where you don't feel like you have everything that you need, you can always add to this list. All right, so now is the fun part and that is actually laying out your plan. So I am going to now take everything that I have here, take the mini goals that I have laid out in the order that I have them laid out, and then make a plan day by day for how much time I'm going to spend. Now, I am making this plan for someone who is only spending about two hours a day learning. Uh, so I'm going to actually go week by week and fill it out that way and just give myself a goal of what I want to accomplish in each week. But if you are someone that has a little bit more time to devote, definitely take advantage of filling out uh, every single day what you want to accomplish in that day and maybe just filling it out every week as you go and filling out like the next seven days. So maybe on your day off, um, taking that day to kind of fill out your plan for the next week. Do it however it feels right for you. But yeah, we're gonna fill that out now. Okay, 
So as you can see, it's coming together. You will just fill out the dates, what topics you're learning, the resources that you're using and adding the links and objectives for each of those weeks and just following along on that. So now you have this entire plan that you can go and use as a reference when you don't have to think about all of this stuff when it's already done for you it makes it so much easier to just show up and start learning when it's time for you to learn so definitely take advantage of this again the full guide is in the description of this video so you can check that out along with the link to get a discount on your liberty 3 pros all right guys so i am so excited for you to dig into this learning plan and creating one that is tailored for what you want to learn and the amount of time and energy that you have the resources that you have available to you i think that this is really great to create your own curriculum in a sense let me know tag me if you end up using it and liking it and always let me know if you have suggestions for how you can make it better or how you tailor it for yourself i would love to see how you all are using it as always, guys, I love you, I am rooting for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.